To add a bill of materials to your drawing, what you want to do is take an existing drawing, go to the annotations tab, hit tables on the right side, and click bill of materials. Now what we're going to have to do is select the respective view that we want to take. So I'm just going to choose this isometric view over here. And we're going to get some options in the feature tree here. We can select a couple things such as making it all in uppercase, selecting the specific configuration that we want. We'll choose the default one. We can choose to represent the parts or the top level only. And we can choose any templates that we've made. We may also choose to attach it to an anchor point on the screen. So this could be the corners or the edges. I'm just going to leave this free form, so leave it unchecked. We also have a couple border settings that we can set. We'll click OK to add the table. Now with our cursor, we can add this table wherever we want. So I want it in this general area, so let's just put it here. And as you can see, it'll snap to the screen. Snap to our sheet. I'm going to snap it to this top left corner here. Now you might notice that it's interfering with our view over here. So what I'm going to do is chop this bill of materials in half. We can select the cell, let's say 13, right click the cell, hit split, and choose to cut it either above that cell or below that cell horizontally. We'll select below. Now if we hover over the top left corner, we have this blue arrow icon here that looks like a cross. Click and drag. And now we can move this wherever we want. Say we don't want this anymore, we can reattach it by right clicking the top cell again, merge tables, and merge it with all. If you click merge with next, let's say you have multiple tables, it'll only merge this one with the previous table, like so. I'm going to make three tables now. three different spaces. Now what we can do is if we right click, click merge tables and merge with next, it'll only merge the two adjacent components. Let's split them again. Now, let's say we want to merge all of them together. We're going to right click again, merge tables, and click merge all. Clicking this top icon here will also give us a bunch of other options, such as alignment. We can also hit options, document properties, and tables. We can select font under the text heading to change our font and our word style. So let's say we want 14 style font in Century Gothic font, 14 point font in Century Gothic in regular style. Click OK. Click OK. And there we go. 